Previously on Mercenary Adventures. We find a dangerously calm Terenet at the Spire. Gekbert volunteers to inquire about the location of Leza Lenara among his underworld contacts in Cyberbute City. Once the Viking arrive, Gekbert lets them know that he's set up a meeting with a fixer. At the meeting, Terenet sees a news piece about the Void Freighter crashing and assumes his quarry is dead. He refuses to pay the fixer's price and extorts the information from them instead. Afterwards, they meet with the others and plan their attack on the Trade Lord's archive. Meanwhile and elsewhere, Le Zelenara wakes up in recovery from the freighter crash. Her memory is full of holes, but it all comes rushing back when she looks in the mirror. The locals then acquaint her with the spread of the infestation as she recovered and asks if she knows anything that will help. After some food, she asks to see their charts again because she has an idea. So, tell us about your stirrings, little player. Well, from what I can see in the drone footage, the Void has pretty thoroughly infested at least this area. In my experience, once the Void infests an area, it's nearly impossible to force them out. This is a very nice hollow room. Did you say you salvaged it from an archive? Actually, most of our new construction here comes from old buildings. Interesting. It was Navadra's idea and it's turned out to be very useful. The Void doesn't seem to pay much attention to old building materials. With the infestation spreading planet-wide, we lacked any uncorrupted material to construct with. What was your solution? I had the idea of repurposing older construction for new hideouts, and since there's a bunch of it laying around abandoned to the infestation's advance, we had it in abundance. Clever! Back to your current predicament. I'd like to reiterate my suggestion to leave as soon as possible. From what I can see, your planet is lost. Proximity alert. Anomalous party approaching. Party consists of four adults, four adolescents, and three juveniles. Threat level, moderate. Computer, alert acknowledged. Cease audio. <laughs> that used to freak me out too, but they don't even bother looking in our direction. Especially if they're returning instead of heading out. Kill seems to take their lack of situational awareness as a personal affront. How so? He says it takes some of the fun out of planning an ambush. It makes it too easy. It's kind of strange that they're always in such a rush to get back before sunset. Wait, every day they're back before sunset? Without fail, every day. Why do you ask? The Gek and Ivok, the Void had taken over, did exactly the same. Rolf called it communing with mother. Hmm. I can see the wheels turning. What are you thinking? Okay, hear me out. What if whatever happens during this communion with mother is necessary for the void to maintain its hold over the inhabitants? How would that help? We could capture a group of inhabitants that have been taken over by the void and hold them captive somewhere. For what purpose? We could see if they revert back to more independent-minded beings. Interesting proposition. It's possible that one of them might know something we do not about how to reverse the infestation. It is truly an extreme long shot, but since you do not seem to have any intention of leaving, this is the only other plan I can think of. That's actually a very good idea. Kill several birds with one stone, too. Kill has been agitating for a strike on one of their parties for weeks, and I'm not sure how much longer I'll be able to put them off. Once we capture them, where do we keep them? Before the invasion, I was one of the most sought-after contractors on the planet. I pioneered the new technique that allows me to build structures under 
the bedrock. How does that help us? We can use this to build the dungeon somewhere the void might not be able to reach. I have always enjoyed a good dungeon. <sighs> it would seem I am not fully recovered yet. Exhaustion just hit me like a ton of bricks. Here, let me help you back to your bed. Building strange structures makes Navadra giddy and frankly unbearable to be around. So I'd suggest you take some more time to recover fully. <laughs> Builders and their toys. I think a bit more rest would work out just fine. Lead the way, mistress. Okay, let's go over things one last time. The best place to hit the trade administrator is at his archive. Tran, the archive is locked up tighter than the backside of a Corvax case. Are you sure there's no other option? No, this is the best option, and let me tell you why. Deckbert says the defenders of the archive share his disdain for the trade administrator. He will go in ahead of us and convince the captain of the guards that his men are due for a training and recertification march. Once they've all pulled out, Deckbert will come meet us and we'll all pull that archive down around the trade administrator's ears. Deckbert, go meet your man. We'll resupply here and be along in due course. You all know what we need. Go to it. Meet at the ships in one hour. Heads low, boys. Dismissed. Okay, nearly back to full health. I guess now it's time to start looking for an opportunity to make a break. You would betray them? Somehow, it doesn't feel very clean. Malin here tells me you're almost fully healed. Starting to feel that way. The timing is fortuitous, as I've recently completed construction of the dungeon where we can hold the captured Void Keen. Oh, goody, a dungeon! <laughs> void Keen? Have you started calling them that too? I was hoping that Kill's name for them wouldn't catch on. Gotta admit, it's catchy, and rolls off the tongue easily. Speaking of Kill, he's got his squad handpicked and is chomping at the bit to hit a void foraging squad. What are you going to do? I think I'll give him the green light for this evening. Would you like to check out the dungeon before the guests arrive? I do love me a good dungeon. Lead on. Can't have a dungeon without a hidden entrance, am I right? It ain't a real dungeon without one. These walls look solid. They're made of the same stuff as the base, right? Indeed. Very perceptive, dear girl. How did you figure out the void wouldn't notice the latch you're using? We were desperate and found it by accident. When we found you, actually. How? Ugh. It took us longer than we had anticipated to dig you out. By the time we were done, the void scouts were getting very close. Y'all should have left me. You had no idea who or what I was. Why risk yourself for a stranger? It was Kill who refused to stop. He really hates to fail at something once he starts it. That's unexpected. Then what? Scouts were closing in and we saw this abandoned calm tower. Honesty compels me to admit we came here planning on making our last stand. Things looked grim. It was the only defensible place we could see and we were planning on selling our lives as dearly as we could. You never told me you two almost died. That's not exactly accurate. 
call it more ready to die than almost died. As far as the scouts were concerned, once we got inside the building, it was like we simply ceased to exist. Then what happened? Everyone who was willing to fight instead of run was scattered all over the planet. So, we were resisting, but not effectively. I reached out to everyone I could and had them reach out further, letting everyone know what we'd discovered and letting them know we were building a Ford observation base here. Let me guess, your reputation as a builder made this the logical gathering point? Exactly, because they knew that Nevadra would build the most defensible base on the planet. So then, have you figured out where we are yet? <laughs> Enough of your games, Nevadra. Just tell us. Look up? Sweet foot, I mean, shoot a monkey. Wow, now I know why you were so highly sought after. It is truly something to behold, isn't it? Indeed it is. So we are actually floating in the nothingness below the terrain? Quite. I call this place Null Space. My hope, the combination of location and materials will keep us hidden. At a minimum. It makes the place defensible. Ah, kill. Perfect timing. Since you're showing a guest the facilities, does this mean I finally get to hit a foraging party? Yes, it does, you bloodthirsty bastard. Anara, this single-minded individual, is my deputy. Kill. I remember that voice well. We'll need to be careful around this one. He's always watching for any indication of betrayal. We've not yet met. Thank you for rescuing me. Still not sure it was a good idea. Kill, mind your manners. Anyway, it's about damn time. I've got the party I want to hit all picked out. When are they due to patrol again? Just so happens they went out today. You prepped? I'll gather my team. We'll start doing our final prep on the ambush site. Okay, check in when you're on site. You got it. It's funny how life changes in an instant. Before all this, it broke his heart to put down a beloved pack animal. He lost a mate and eight children when a chunk of freighter broke off in a descent. Poor kill. Poor kill indeed. Now he's consumed with causing as much pain and suffering to Void Keen as possible. I didn't know him prior to the Void's arrival, but he's definitely a cautionary tale of what happens when you let grief drive you completely insane. There are days when I think he might be the most sane being left on the planet. How so? Complete eradication of all vestiges of the Void, regardless of the consequences to our planet's biome might be the only answer. I see. This area will be the control room. From here we can monitor each one of the cells and see how our guests behave once they are denied their communion with mother. I must caution you that I'm not sure how long the void's hold will persist. For all I know, this communion could have nothing to do with their control and just be some sort of twisted void team building exercise. Of course. We appreciate you simply sharing the idea with us. There won't be any blame attached should it not work. We were lucky to find you. You've been such a big help. I wholeheartedly agree. Now would you like to see a cell? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> I'd never thought I'd see someone so eager to enter a cell. Each cell has its own doorway, but switches control the power doors in front. The cells were built specifically to allow prisoners to see out. I'm hoping the sight of them floating in nothingness will unnerve them, but we'll have to see. It definitely creeps the hell out of me. Same here. I've got some more last minute adjustments to make to the surveillance system, so I won't keep you ladies. I'll follow up with you in a few days and let you know how the prisoners respond to their confinement. How long do you think you will have before the void discovers them missing and responds? Can't really say. I've got nothing to base my guess on, so we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, sounds good. Best of luck and we'll talk soon. 
We should take this chance to allay Kill's suspicions. The more comfortable he is about our presence, the easier it'll be to escape. Malin, I'm feeling much better now. So would it be okay if I ask Kill to show me the ambush site? How come? I am sure he's done an excellent job. But with my knowledge of the void, I might be able to notice some holes he misses because he's too close to the whole thing. That sounds like a great idea. He won't ever admit it, but having you look over his ambush site would be a big help. Are you sure? <sighs> We've been thrust into roles that we're unfamiliar with, and we're all just hoping that our inexperience doesn't get us killed. Anything I can do to help repay all of you for not only saving my life, but including me in your plans for revenge as well. Kiel usually does his pre-mission prep in one of the two shelters close to the abandoned building. As you leave the infirmary, it's the one on the left. Thanks! I'll go have a chat with him now. The hell are you doing here? Hey, Kill. Thank you for hauling me out of that crashed freighter. Do you mind if I tag along to the ambush site? I'd like to help if I can. What the fuck do you mean? You want to come out so you can mark the location for the Void Scouts? Help them organize a counter ambush? You have me all wrong. I think I have the right of you. Let me come with you, and I will prove my worth. Sure, I'll bring you along. Maybe I'll just throw you to the Void. See what their response times are like. Fair enough. If you think that's best, I'm just trying to be helpful. Let's go. You are going to be glad you didn't throw me to the void. I think I can help here. Please, enlighten me. What did you see that I missed? You saw how they moved as a group. They all moved like a single entity. Yeah, that was weird. They move like that because they are a hive mind. How does that help? Watch for the one that has black eyes. Take him first and the rest will be temporarily disorientated. That sounds like actual good intel. Don't tell Nervada I said this, but maybe it wasn't such a bad idea dragging your ass out of that crash. The Freedom Fighters proceed with their plans, unaware of Leza Lenara's secondary agenda. Will an opportunity for escape present itself? How will the Void respond to an attack by a patrol? Check back soon for another thrilling chapter of Mercenary Adventure.
Or a gecko friend? How's business? Geckbird! <laughs> Honestly, b business is bad. When Gekna approached the void, the people realized it was folly. They saw the hard work the scientists had done in discovering and collecting the element. That was what turned the tide, and so they've started to boycott this archive in protest. Don't forget, Trenat and his men were also instrumental in protecting the collection teams. Never! All anyone can talk about today is the reports that Gekna's stolen freighter was shot down and crashed on a planet in a remote galaxy. And him? Well, he was really mad this morning. You could hear his high pitch screaming all the way down at the landing pads. My mate says it serves him right. I've always had a very high opinion of your mate's intelligence. Other than her obviously poor taste in life partners, that is. Might I make a suggestion, my friend? Of course! Since business is slow, why not play hooky and surprise your mate and offspring with a picnic? A picnic? It's a lovely day for a picnic. Maybe not such a lovely day to be at the archive. Maybe also quietly spread the word to your fellow shopkeepers as you leave. Ah! <laughs> of course, my friend. Thank you for your concern. Always, old friend. Now I need to go chat with the guard commander. I hope I won't see you as I leave. Well, I may be a bit thick-headed, but I don't need to be told three times. Gekberg, so good to see you. I heard you had joined those crazy Vikings back ups on their assault of the Spire. I feared the worst. No need, Kasheta. Those Vikings are very good at their job, so I was never really in any danger. It must have been exhilarating to charge in a battle with warriors of such prowess. It was quite something, all right. So what can I do for you today? And does the Trade Lord know you're back? He does not, and I intend to keep it that way. I assume you're aware of Gakana's shameful behavior towards Trenat and his allies? I am, and so is everyone else around here. It's like a ghost town out there. We need to talk. Would you be so kind as to shut off your security measures temporarily? So ominous, old friend, but if you insist... Okay, what's with the cloak and laser blade? The situation is dire, Gish. These are strange times. Strange times, indeed. As you say, it's like a ghost town out there. Unless you want to end up a ghost in a ghost town, something has to change. Enough with the dramatics, old friend. I'm a military man. Cut the shit and give it to me straight. Alright, here it is. In the coming days, this facility is going to come under attack by a very well-trained and very pissed-off team of Viking Spec Ops. They want blood, Gesh. And you've come to reinforce us? Just you? Not exactly. When they attack, I want you to let them in. Are you insane? Easy, old friend. Let me explain. I think you'd better. Fast. It's like this. 